Welcome. This is our Algebra 2 Transmission Functions Lesson Number 1 Shifting Functions Homework Review. Given the function f of x showed, shown graphed on the grid, create a graph for each of the following functions and label on the grid. So we have three different examples here. And so we see in this case we have g of x is f of x plus 2, h of x is f of x minus 3, and k of x is f of x plus 1 minus 4. Now for, in this case, when we're shifting functions, we have our rules here. And so let's take a look. If we're given y equals f of x, then y equals f of x plus c means we shift y, for f, y equals f of x up by c units. If we have y equals f of x minus c, again, both the c's here plus and minus are outside the parentheses, means we shift y equals f of x down by c units. If we have y equals f of parenthesis x minus c, close parenthesis, means we shift y equals f of x to the right by c units. Notice that in this case, even though this is x minus c, we're moving to the right by that number. And y equals f of x plus c means we shift y equals f of x left by c units. So when numbers in the parenthesis of the letter is moving the opposite direction they should be. So if you see a plus five inside parenthesis, it means you're moving to the left by five. If you see a minus three in parenthesis with the letter, it means you're moving to the right by three or in this foot x in this case, okay? So for f of x plus two, it means we're shifting up by two. which means our important coordinates, which are six, negative four, now become, sorry, neg, neg six, comma, neg four, become neg six, comma, neg two. Our next coordinate, neg three, comma, five, becomes neg three, comma, seven, because we're adding two. Our next coordinate, two, comma, one, becomes two, comma, three, because one plus two is three. And the fourth coordinate, four comma three becomes four comma five. So we're going to, in this case, first plot those points. So six comma neg two is right over here. Oops. Six comma neg two is right over here. Neg three comma, neg three comma seven is over here. Two comma three is over here. And four comma three, four comma five is right over here. And so we're going to now connect this, these coordinates here with a segment. And so this one just looks like this. And now you're saying, why do only those coordinates? Well, those coordinates kind of stand out. All right, and I'm going to label this here uh, g of x. Those coordinates stand out in this case, all right, because they're almost like vertices that we're going to use to help us graph things. Now, h of x is f of x minus 3. Notice the minus 3 inside, which means we shift right by 3. Okay, and so shift right by three means in this case, we're going to add three to the x value for each of the port important coordinates. So neg six comma neg four becomes neg three comma neg four. Okay, and then neg three comma five becomes zero comma five. So we're just adding three to the x value of each of those original coordinates. Two comma one becomes five comma one. And four comma three becomes seven comma three because four plus three is seven. And so now we're gonna plot those points. All right, so to the right by three, we have neg three comma neg four, this point here. Neg three comma five becomes zero comma five, that point there. Two comma one becomes five comma one, this point here. And four comma three becomes seven comma three, this point here. All right, and we're gonna connect these coordinates with, uh, I'm gonna choose a dashed line segment here. Well, technically I can use this kind of big bar for red. All 
you know, I'm gonna, <laughs> I think I'm going to uh, use, I think I'm going to use the uh, dash line. Easier to see through, but it's just kind of, kind of blocky here, so, all right? So I'm going to use dash line here for the red coordinates. And we'll see in this case that it is the same as the, same as the uh, original f of x, you know, except shifted to the right by three. Okay, so this is going to be h of x. Now, finally, we have c, and c in this case is a mixture of two things. One, we see f of x plus one, which means we're shifting everything to the left by one, and then minus four, which means we're shifting down by four. So, what we're going to do is we're going to now just write down shift left one and down four. So this really, if you went, we want to we apply this uh, rule of x minus one, y minus four. All right, and so that's what I do to each of the coordinates of the original, the original function. So we see in this case we're going to have neg six comma neg four becomes neg seven, comma neg eight. Neg three comma five becomes neg four comma one because we're going to shift to the left by left by one and down by four. Two comma one becomes to left one is one, down four becomes neg three. And then the last coordinate, four comma three, we just subtract one from the f from the x, which so it becomes four minus one is three. Subtract four from the three, we get minus one. And those are our coordinates. So we'll plot those. And so we have neg seven, now, neg 5, neg 6, neg 7, neg 8, this point here. All right. Then we have 3, comma 5. 3, comma 5, comes, if, 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 negative 3, comma 5 comes, goes down 1, right, uh, down, left 1, down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, which is neg 4, comma 1. So notice how it works out, not only in writing it out, you know, algebraically, but we see also works graphically as well, too. For two comma one, we go left one and down four. One, two, three, four. And this becomes one comma neg three. And finally, our four comma three, left one down four is one, two, three, four, becomes three comma neg one. And so we'll connect these coordinates, and I'll use a green dotted line here. So for the green we used, and we see we're connecting. All right. And there you go. And so <clears throat> they're basically, you know, it, we, we could say in this case, they're the same, all the angles are the same measurements, and all this line segments are the same measurements. Everything just shifted. It's a transformation of like a translation in this case. So we have our same shapes here. Okay, everybody? All right. Um, so this will be our the end of our Algebra 2. Uh, algebra 2, um, transformation of functions, lesson number one. Um, shifting functions, homework review, part one. If you found this helpful, we really appreciate you give us a like. And if you have any questions or comments, leave in the comment section below. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care and be safe.